start a recipe, you actually want to get yourself a little piece of paper and you want to walk around with it. I have mine here. And you will go grab all of your ingredients and put them out and measure them if at all possible. That way it's just easier to get going and you have everything at your disposal and ready. I would also recommend having something that you can stir with on hand and any utensils you might need. Prepping before is huge and gonna make it so much easier. So let's get right into making this pizza dough. We're gonna start off with that mozzarella cheese. I heat in the oven, not in a microwave, because I don't believe in using them. I pay a lot of money for my food, and I want to actually have stuff that is uh, organic and still has the nutrients in it. So I will not cook in those microwaves because they destroy everything. So you're just going to take it out. You're going to check it, make sure it's fully melted, and then and you don't. It doesn't have to be like soup melted just you know mostly melted so that you can make it into a fun dough so I'm gonna spread this out I use a silicone pan I'm still skeptical about using these but it's really helpful for the whole non-skid portion of this and it's pretty thick as you can see it looks a lot like pizza dough I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese into this because I love Parmesan cheese and the extra flavor it gives and I skip the uh, cream cheese I don't have any on hand that I want to use. I add a single egg. Just gonna crack that in there. I usually crack it over a little bowl, but I didn't want to this time because uh, I'm lazy. But sometimes you get that little flakes in there, and that's no fun. I love adding spices to my uh, crust just because I feel like that makes a big difference in the uh, the flavor of the crust and making it more authentic and more real, and you know, in some ways, more fancy fancy full, you know, like you'd have at a nice restaurant. But if that's not your thing, feel free to omit them. You don't need to cover up the flavor of the mozzarella and almond flour. It's not something that the flavors aren't going to be very authentic or very pizza-like. They actually work really, really well. Uh, you can add some recipes, have a little bit of cream cheese. Some people have more eggs, but sometimes I like to just go simpler with it and just have less ingredients, less prep time, less all of it that jazz. So, here you go. Just mix it till it's like a dough. And then we're going to grab some parchment paper and we're going to roll it out. You want it to be nice and mixed. Sometimes I get my hands in there and feel like it mixes better. Sometimes you use a spoon and I kind of flatten it to the side. want to make sure that it's, you know, actually kind of mushing together and mixing well. And we have to pre-cook this. So we cook the dough and then we have the toppings. So, all right, let's get that parchment paper. You're gonna just dump the dough mixture into the middle of it, cover it with another piece, flatten it out with your hands, and then just go and grab your rolling pin and use even pressure throughout and change up your directions as often as possible. If you push too hard, it's gonna be thin in the center and you're gonna get, it's just gonna take some practice and so just make sure it's a smooth, gentle movement with even pressure. You'll be good to go. Rolling it out, you wanna be really gentle so that you kinda get it to the consistency and thickness that you like. You don't want it to be, if you like a thin crust, you know, just try to use as even as a pressure as you can. And then I personally like to roll up the sides. I feel like it holds the sauce in a little bit better and makes it feel like there's an actual pizza crust. But if you're going for a flatbread pizza or something like that, there's no need to do that. You can just cut it into your little rectangles and move on with your life. <laughs> uh, and then you just keep on rolling. It's kind of weird and flaky and can kind of be it's just an odd texture I guess if you don't melt it all the way so if you get it wrong the first time don't be discouraged just try again and you know kind of treat it as it's still gonna taste good <laughs> it's still gonna get cooked You're, it might just it might not look all that pretty but that's okay so it's not only the only place that aesthetics matter is on food shows <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. I know you know. Now this came out kind of oval, but I'm okay with that. So we're just gonna continue going on. I'm gonna grab my pizza stone dish. Kind of tricky. You wanna actually take the dough off of the parchment paper and onto 
the stone dish. Oh boy, pizza small. Right now, I am browning the ground beef that's going to be in one of the toppings. If you need a video on that, just comment below and I will set up my little induction burner so that I can record that for you. But you want it in small chunks, you know, for pizza. And you can season it, but my brother just got pre-seasoned, so should be good to go. I'm gonna chop up some olives to the top of this pizza. Now, if you don't, there, by all means, if you want to get the pre-sliced ones, go ahead and do whatever works for you. We just buy them in bulk from Costco, and we have them on hand. And I find that just kind of the chopping of cooking to be kind of fun. I don't know; it's very soothing. It gives me something to focus on, and I enjoy it. So I have no problem cutting up some olives. Drink a bit. Thank you. Mmm, that's good, babe. When you cook them, and so I would say from one olive, you want to just maybe get three slices of olive and kind of make them as similar, you know, a symmetrical. I would say symmetrical. It's like my favorite word. Um, make them as even as possible, I guess, or as the same width or size. Symmetrical. I know it's symmetrical, but I'm trying to use more words and expand my vocabulary. <laughs> All right, so these are done. And uh, we're cooking the Italian beef. We've got some pepperoni pre-sliced over here. And we're kind of just waiting for it to cook. and onto the stone dish. Oh boy, pizza small. It's gonna be like four slices. And that is the monster. I'm making him pizza because I he helped with our animals while we were in Germany. And I